Amen. Church. Amen. Um, I am going to go ahead and present the next. Can I please have Sister Stephen in the Spirit come on up?
mentioned earlier this morning, it was the annual missionary, Women's Missionary Day. And the white gloves the women were wearing just now uh, reminded me of that and why we have our white shirts on. And I just wanted to know how many people actively do God's work every day? Subconsciously, intentionally. And um, today at service we had uh, a guest speaker and she talked about prayer. That was the emphasis of prayer. How many of you pray every day? Yeah. Every single day. How many of you pray two to three times a day? You know, me personally, I might be the odd one out. There are days when I forget, and then I think about it, and then I may not do an official prayer, but I actually do talk to God. When I'm talking to myself, I'm actually talking to God. You know, a prayer is a conversation with the Lord, is it not? And is it not important to have a conversation with your maker every day? Because tomorrow could be your last day and you have no idea. And so I want to make sure that I ask everyone and do my part in making sure that everyone um, has that conversation and they make it a effort to know that if they were to die today, they would be going to heaven. Let me, and so after that, I would like to go ahead and introduce uh, this next group of teens, the Emily Harper Dancers uh, of Newman. I know most of them personally, they're sweethearts. And they work very, very hard to uh, present to you this dance. So I'm gonna have them come up. They will be doing a dance from uh, Break Every Chain by Passion Cops. It's a powerful performance. I hope you enjoy it.
Um, at this point in time, we'll be doing at this point in our worship experience, this is where everyone can participate. We may not all be able to dance as our young people and our sisters stepping in the spirit have, but we all can participate in giving back for the benefit of the ministry. Amen? If I could get two of my ushers. Have we not been blessed thus far? Amen. Amen. Let's praise Lord for what we have seen thus far. Father God, we thank you for the gifts that we have received for the benefit of kingdom building. We ask you right now to press it down, shape it together, multiply it so that it may do what you have called for it to do. Bless those who had a desire to give God and those who did not. Let them be fruitful and continue to go and be kingdom disciples for your name. And in Jesus' name we say amen. Amen. Give our worship leader a hand. Amen. A word of encouragement. You know, sometimes we look at a position and we say, oh, that's easy to do. But let's encourage our young people who stand up on a daily basis with the struggles of this, this life. But in the house of the Lord, we should be encouraging them to go forth and speak boldly about what God is doing in their lives. And Sister Laisha, we just thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Mrs. Bates. I appreciate that. Uh, very much. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been a little bit nervous throughout the service. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not usually much of a public speaker. I'm more of a behind-the-scenes woman, but, you know, the kids asked me, and I find it so hard to say no, so I did it anyways. So God be with me, please, and pray for me. <laughs> All right, um, I would like to present the next dance performance. This would be Kenyon Glenn, a um, very close friend of mine, and also the daughter of our dance ministry director, Mrs. Stephanie Glenn. So Kenya, if you could come up. She's doing a solo performance.
let you know in on the secret. She just did that impromptu. Completely just went with the flow. Had no intention of choreography. She just said, Aisa, I'm just going to do this because I feel it in my spirit. So I just wanted to make sure she had another round of applause. Moving on with our program, we have Order My Steps Dance Ministry performing only, I, oh, I'm sorry, I Can Only Imagine by Tamela Man. <laughs>
for the all-inspiring dance performance so much. Um, uh, that was St. Luke AMA Church from Roseville. Thank you again for that performance. It was beautiful. Um, I now can reintroduce my Emily Harper team dancers. Um, this time they'll be performing a song from Thai Tribute uh, called Sing God. And I just want you to witness how God works through us, not only through speech, but through dance. So here we go. Thank you.
when he takes young little ones and have them perform and as they graduate, you can look at the graduation of our performers and, and, and you see um, what I want to say, herky-jerky to the smooth and, and the ease. And yet all of it looks good because it's all for the glory of God. We pause now because it's important that every soul be saved. We can ill afford to have somebody walk out the door and say, you know, this would have been a good day to, to come to Jesus. But nobody offered or even gave us a chance to do so. Well, this afternoon, we're going to do that. It's as, as we sing, I surrender, I surrender all. One, one, one verse of I surrender all to Jesus, I surrender. Let us stand. All to Jesus. She is the dance ministry president. Amen. Hi. Hi. Thanks. <laughs> um, thank you for everyone for coming and the other churches for coming out today to celebrate our 18th anniversary. It means a lot to all of us. And it was a success, I would say. We're just happy. We're just happy that everybody could come. Now a word from Mrs. Glenn. I just want to reiterate what Miss Reed said. What Sister Reed said. We want to thank everybody for your presence today making this program a success. I hope you were all inspired. Picked up a couple of dance steps on the way. <laughs> um, I want to thank our um, worship leader, Lisa. Like she said, she's, she's one that's behind the scenes, so we had to pull on her a little bit, but when I told her that they the dance troupe um, elected for her to be here for today. She freely accepted, so we thank you. I want to thank our um, our um, sound person. Person McCoy, it doesn't matter how hard you plan, the devil is always in the mix. We tested every CD before the program started and still something happened. So we thank God for Chris and that the um, it didn't it didn't hamper anything. Amen. I I want to of course thank my dancers. They're 
They're my inspiration. And all of the week is terrible. I look forward to coming to dance rehearsal. So and I ask them, what brings you to dance rehearsal? And just the, the matter of just moving to the um, to the words of the song. When you listen to the song and just move to the words of the song. That just adds another dimension to the praise that we give to God. So we enjoy our dance rehearsals. I want to um, give special thanks to my daughter. <laughs> Like Lady already said, she just kind of moves to wherever the music, um, wherever the music moves her. Because I asked her, I kept saying, "What are you dancing to?" I don't know. <laughs> Can you dance this tomorrow? What are you dancing to? I don't know. <laughs>